In this video, we are going to learn SICS, small incision cataract surgery. First, how to hold the superior rectus tendon? Use a muscle hook to push the eyeball down. Use a superior rectus holding forceps and pass the superior rectus radial suture underneath the superior rectus tendon. Use another forceps to pull it out and now this suture is pulled and it makes the eyeball stable and making tunnel becomes easy. And how much incision we need depends on the hardness of the nucleus. In this case, a 7 millimeter incision is more than enough because the nucleus is soft. This is peritomy for about two and a half clock hours. And now mild cautery is done. Care is taken not to touch the edges of the conjunctiva. Very mild cautery so that the tissue is not contracted. The scleral surface does not get charred. Now, this is 7 millimeter measurement. Let us see how much peritomy is there. Yes, peritomy is about 8 millimeter and I am giving this incision for 7 millimeter. This is a mild frown incision. When the incision is like this, we do not need any suture. This is almost half thickness depth incision and now we are going to make the tunnel. The crescent blade goes into clear cornea for about 1.5 millimeter and it, it comes backward and to the left. In this way, we are making tunnel of the left half. The inner opening will be little larger than the outer opening. Outer opening is about 7 millimeter. Inner opening will be about 8 or 9 millimeter. We must remember the contour of the eyeball when we sweep backward and to one side, either right or left. And the same plane should be maintained. So, the tunnel is blind now. It will be opened later on. And now, this is a side port at 8.45 o'clock. or 9 o'clock. An air bubble is injected. Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. Visibility becomes much better if we get contrast. So, this dye will help in increasing the contrast and it will help in doing the rexus. I always re remove the excess dye and then I inject visco. Visco means 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now I am going to do a rexus with the help of a needle. Go in, make a cut like this and pull it. 
Now flip this capsule. Now this capsular tag is guided by this needle. Just pushing this flap up to 3 o'clock and from 3 o'clock I am pulling this flap and thus I get an adequate size axis. First this axis is about 5.5 millimeter. We will see that the nucleus will not prolapse by hydrodissection, but we have other ways. Now the tunnel is opened. How? We go to the anterior extreme of the tunnel and then enter into the anterior chamber. Do not come out, make the tunnel act on go. Yes, it is open from one side to the other side. And now hydrodissection is to be done. I take ring lactate in a 2 cc syringe and do the hydrodissection with 27 gauss cannula. This is hydrodissection. The nucleus is free, I can see, but it did not prolapse because the rexis is on the smaller side. Inject visco. Now I use two hooks to prolapse the nucleus into the anterior chamber. In this way, I get on edge that is on part of the equator. One hook is underneath, another on on the anterior surface, and just dialing the nucleus, we can get it out of the capsular bag and it is in the anterior chamber now. Visco always to protect the corneal endothelium and now using this irrigating vectors, now see what has happened. The nucleus has broken at the incision. So what to do now? Inject visco and place the other half in this way orient it in this way and again go with the irrigating vectus. At this time it comes out easily. And now there is lot of cortex, we have to remove the cortex. This is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. I am flushing out some bases through the aspirating port so that whatever cortex sticks to the undersurface of the cornea gets dislodged and we can see, we can have a clear view of the cortex. Now I am using this cortex with visco inside the capsular bag. The idea is to remove the cortex from the sub side port and adjacent area and then I go through the side port and remove rest of the cortex. SICS is a very nice surgery and if we place the wound on the steep axis, we can control the existing astigmatism very nicely by SICS. Now this is a PMMA lens, 6 millimeter optic. We need to have a forceps in the left hand and in this way the lens is placed in the capsular bag.
And now you just have to remove the visco from the capsular bag, from the anterior chamber, from the anterior chamber angle and we are done. In this case the tunnel is good, only 7 millimeter wound, it will not require any suture. And now, I am taking the irrigating probe of bimanual IA, irrigating the anterior chamber angle all around, so that irrigating the capsular bag once again, so that all the visco comes out. This is a totally unedited recording. The idea is you can observe each and every step. Even then, even though it is unedited, you may find that some steps are being done too quickly. So, you need to observe the video several times to assimilate the ideas, tips and tricks. The side port is hydrated, it gets closed. The main wound has a nice valve. It will not require any suture in this case. Forming the AC nicely. The tension chamber is nicely formed. And now, there is no leakage from the main wound. Now, to oppose the conjunctiva, to the limbus. In this case, I am not using any suture, I am just injecting gentamicin and dexamethasone subconjunctively between conjunctiva and tenons. It swells up and the conjunctiva gets opposed to the limbus. Superior rectus brittle suture is removed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in learning SICS. This video is dedicated to ophthalmology residents all over the world.